So a while ago I brought you this, it's a Wi-Fi enabled bad USB. I highly suggest you watch my previous video first, that's linked in the description. So here's the tutorial on how to hack one together. Malduino is an open source Arduino based bad USB. You can use it to inject keystrokes at lightning speed, gain a shell, change someone's desktop wallpaper, anything you can do with a keyboard and 15 minutes of your time, Malduino can do in a matter of seconds. To find out more, see the Indiegogo link in the description. So there's two ways of making this. One is easier, but you'll end up with a bulkier end product. The other is a little more tricky, but you'll end up with something a lot smaller. So for the first method, you'll need a Wemos D1 Mini or Node MCU and an Arduino Pro Micro. Also, one of these adapters will come in handy so you can forego the micro USB cable. So if you want to make one of these yourselves, I'll put links in the description to everything you'll need for this setup. Okay, so firstly, we're going to need to flash our Wemos D1 Mini, Node MCU, or whatever you're using. So go to this link, Node MCU Flasher, I'll leave it in the description. Go to Win64, and we'll download this EXE. Okay, so then you're going to need to go to the Wi Fi Ducky GitHub page. This is all made by SpaceHun. I'll leave his Twitter link in the description, of course. Um, go to Releases, and download the 4 megabytes bin file. Just a quick intermission from Future Satonic here. If you seem to have problems with your Wi Fi dock, then instead of the 4 megabyte bin file, use the 1 megabyte bin file. But make sure to keep all the instructions from here on in exactly the same. Okay, so then open your Node MCU flasher. I've got mine here. Go to Advanced tab, make sure your border 8 flash size and all this stuff is exactly the same as mine. Then go to Operation and under COM ports, you might see one or two already there, but just go and plug in your Wemos D1 Mini via the micro USB port, and another one will come up here. So I'm going to use number 10. And in config, make sure you select that bin file we just downloaded. Mine's already selected here. And then we should be good to flash. So just go and tap flash. And this will take about 30 seconds ish. So just Leave this to do its thing. So once that's done, you can just go and unplug your D1 Mini and we can move on. OK, so now we're done with the D1 Mini. It's the Arduino's turn. So let's go to the Wi-Fi Ducky main page. Go to Arduino Wi-Fi Duck. Click on the Eno file. Uh, we'll go to see the raw code. We'll control A and just copy all of this. And next, open up a blank sketch in your Arduino IDE and just paste all of this code in. Uh, then plug in your Pro Micro, and we can go to Tools, Board, make sure Arduino Genuino Micro is selected. Under Port, select uh, whichever one it is, and we can click Upload. And you might need to save it somewhere before it uploads. So we'll let, just let it do that. Okay, so now we're pretty much almost done. We just need to connect up the Arduino and the D1 Mini. Right, so I'm showing you guys this bit on a breadboard, though I highly suggest you solder it to make it a bit more practical. Uh, so uh, the TX pin on the Arduino should be connected to the RX pin on the D1 Mini, and the RX pin on the Arduino should be connected to the TX pin on the D1 Mini. And then just connect the Arduino's raw pin to 5 volts on the D1 Mini, and simply connect the ground to ground. And that's it, pretty much. So to give it go and see that it works, search for nearby networks and connect to Wi-Fi Duck with password quack quack. Then open up a browser and go to 192.168.4.1. And then we can test it by going over to the live execute tab. And in here, I'll just type GUI. Now, this is a command to bring up the start menu in Windows. So if I run script and head on over to the computer, we should see that the start menu, there you go, it works. So you could go from here and do some research on Ducky Script, watch my previous video to see what you can do with this thing, and you're good to go. Okay, now for the slightly more complicated method. I was planning on showing you how to do this on a breadboard, though it seems to be very unreliable, whether that's due to stray capacitance on the breadboard, interference, or whatever, I don't know. If you want to do it this way, you'll just have to solder everything together and hope for the best. So to build this slightly sleeker device, you will need an ESP8266 module, an Arduino Pro Micro and an adapter to plug it in, of course, and a 3.3 volt regulator to power the ESP module. As always, links to all this stuff will be in the description. 
So firstly, you're going to have to connect and solder everything up in this configuration. I'd suggest you use very small gauge wire for best results, though keep in mind it will be quite fiddly. Okay, so once that's all soldered down, you can go to the flash over Arduino link in the description, scroll down and copy all of this code and paste it into your Arduino IDE. And then make sure you've got your Pro Micro uh, in your computer. Go to Tools, make sure the right board and port are selected, and you can go and upload that. So this script allows us to program our ESP module using the Arduino, essentially. So once that's done uploading, we can go and download the latest release. So for most people, if you're using the links that I put in the description, you're going to need to use a 4 megabyte one. A four megabyte bin file, though if you're using a different module, maybe an ESP07, then the one megabyte uh, is probably going to be the one you use. So um, download the four megabyte bin file and let's go and also download the Node MCU flasher. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. And open your flasher, go to advanced, make sure your settings are exactly the same as mine, unless of course you're using an ESP07 or something like that, in which case you're going to want to select one megabyte for flash size. Go to config, make sure you have the bin file that you've just downloaded selected here, mine's already selected, and we can go ahead and click flash. Just something else to mention, you might want to unplug and replug your whole setup, whole Arduino uh, ESP thing once you've uploaded that previous Arduino sketch, because sometimes it might not recognize it straight away. And if this whole upload process doesn't seem to work for you, then try the one megabyte bin file, because that can, because the four megabyte can sometimes cause issues. Though if you are using a one megabyte bin file on a device which usually takes a four megabyte bin file, then you still need to make sure you have four megabyte for flash size selected. Okay, so now that's done. Okay, so once that's done, go back to the Wi-Fi Duck GitHub page and click on Arduino Wi-Fi Duck. Click on Eno file, view as raw, and Control A. Just copy the whole thing and paste it into your Arduino IDE. There we are. Make sure your ProMicro is plugged in. Go to Tools. And make sure everything is selected, and hit Upload. Okay, so one more thing before we should be good to go. So we're looking at the wiring again here, and you can see this GPIO0 is connected to ground. Well, we're going to want to go ahead and cut this wire here, desolder it, do what you have to do, just make that dead. So in the end, it should look like, if I just add this back, because we still need grounds connected to grounds and GPIO15 connected to ground, we just need to remove GPIO zero's connection to ground because when GPIO zero is pulled low, it tells the ESP module that it's going to be programmed, which of course we don't need because it's already been programmed. So just make that happen and we should be good. And in the end, you should end up with a pretty sleek looking device. To test that it works, just do the same thing I did with the WeMust D1 Mini earlier in the video. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this worked for you because I know it's. Um, took a long time for me to get this video together. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded much recently. I've been busy with Malduinos and various things. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to slap a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter. I'm at Satonic and stay tuned for more hacking videos.